Hello and welcome to the 50 second tutorial in the SFML 2.1 series. In this part I'm going to show you how to set up OpenGL with an SFML window. We'll be using the source code from the third tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there will be a link in the, in the description. This is the last part of this series. We are going to show you how to set up OpenGL within a SFML project. So we use SFML, SFML for the window and can draw OpenGL within it. Okay, so let's just go ahead and open up our project. First thing to do is actually include the OpenGL header, a part of the SFML library, which basically handles uh, cross-platform. So if you're on a Mac or if you're on a Windows machine, you just include this header and you're all good to go. So it's just hash, in, oops, not add, hash include SFML, OpenGL.hpp. Next, you want to open your project properties. So, if you right click your project, go to properties, and then go to linker, input, and for the additional dependencies, just click the drop down, edit, and then what you want to do is add a couple of dependencies. You want to do OpenGL32.lib, then you want to do glue32.lib. Click OK, apply. Okay, and uh, we need to change our render window to a window for OpenGL. So we can do that just by putting window instead of render window. And we need to also set up OpenGL first, and we do that here before the while loop. So we do GL clear and clear color. Then in here, we're going to put 0.0f. And 0.0f and 0.0f. So it's clear that it's nothing. Then I'm going to put geo matrix mode geo underscore projection geo load entity. Oh, yeah, I also got to put another 0.0, which is the alpha. And now we need to put geo load identity. Now we need to glue perspective. And then within here, we're going to put 45.0. We are going to put, we have to basically get the aspect ratio. This is the field of view. We're going to need to get the aspect ratio, which is 600 divided by 600. Make it dynamic and do window. Not, not a pointer. Dot get size. Dot x divided by window. Dot get size. Dot y. This just makes it that a little bit more dynamic, so you can easily change that one value or those two values up there. And now we need to put the near clipping plane. And for this, I'm going to put 1.0. For clipping plane, will be from 500.0. Now we're going to put glue matrix. I'm sorry, no, GL matrix. GL matrix mode is going to be GL model view. GL underscore model view. Here we don't use window dot is open as the condition of the main loop because we need the window to remain open until the program ends so that we still have a valid OpenGL context for the last iteration of the loop and the cleanup code. So let's update the wall loop. And to do that, all we do is do bool running equals true. And for this, we're going to do well, running. Then we need to change the window.close to running equals false. Equals false. Need to remove the window that clear and replace it with a OpenGL clear method. So this right here, I'm going to change to geo clear, geo underscore color underscore buffer bit. Then the vertical line geo underscore depth buffer bit right here. And now the last thing we'll do is draw a triangle to show you where and how to render OpenGL within this product. And basically you do it here as you would with SFML after the clear, but before the display, you just do GL clear. And this clear is just gonna take GL color def I mean GL color buffer bit, GL underscore color. Let's see if I can scroll down and find it. There it is. And put GL begin. 
and GM is called triangles. And then here I'm going to put geo vertex free f. See if we can find it. There we go. And for the x, I'm going to put 0.0, y 2.0, and the z will be minus 5.0. Geo vertex. I'm going to have minus 2.0, minus 2.0. Minus 5.0. GL vertex free f. This tutorial is an FOZ to teach you OpenGL, but just to show you how you can use OpenGL within a SFML render window. And we've got minus 5.0 for the Z buffer. Nothing to do with chain, put a GL end. Run our application we should have a white triangle appear in the center of the screen. So we have our OpenGL drawing. Another thing to know is that when, if you want to use SFML drawing, which is fine, that it's a great API for UI with OpenGL being the meat of the game, you need to switch back to a render window and draw the SFML code like this. So this can be a render window, it's just if you don't need OpenGL stuff, then just stick it as a window, otherwise do render window. And what you want to do is to draw SFML code you do window dot push gl states and what you do with window dot pop gl states and then in here you basically draw your SFML code and the way you do it will be using this method and then within here you put your SFML item SFML item to draw basically how we've done before so you push a GL state draw your SFML then pop the GL state when you're done with SFML and then you can continue using your OpenGL code that is it for this tutorial and actually this tutorial series if you have any questions feel free to message us at support at sonarsystem.co.uk the email will be in the description you can comment on this video or just directly message us via youtube or the recording for source code will also be in the description and as usual thanks for watching and i hope you have a great day